Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to Saints Row 2. Um, I actually have Gentlemen of the Row installed, which is like this pretty big mod. It's like a collection of a whole bunch of mods all kind of rolled together into one. Um, it was compiled by, I think, uh, Idle Ninja, along with, you know, a whole team of, of modders that kind of, uh, you know, just kind of contributed their, their mods and kind of put them all together into this gentleman of the row and it really adds a lot of stuff to the game um there's a lot of things that you can kind of change up in there so you'll notice in my game that there's some different things going on you'll notice some things going on in the uh in the cutscenes. uh some things don't line up right but uh well you'll you'll see why um the pc version of saints row 2 kind of has a lot of problems um I guess Gentleman of the Row, along with uh, Power Tools, kind of addresses that, so uh, I think I have it working pretty decently, but there's still little issues here and there, but uh, let's go ahead and jump into a game, and, and you'll kind of see there's little issues with the cutscenes and stuff, but uh, well, you'll see what I mean. Um, I'll go ahead and I'm just going to do it on normal, and we'll just go ahead and jump right in, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it does. You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an altar exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. Oh, for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. They said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Alright, so uh, you see that the uh, character creation... Uh, well, the choices are all the same, but you see the actual default character is a little bit different, right? And you probably noticed in the uh, in the cutscenes, you know, there, there were some little problems with it. That's just with the port to PC. Um, you probably noticed some little changes in there, and that's uh, just because of the way I have things a little bit, you know, modded up a little bit differently. Um... And see like skateboards and stuff like that but uh i'm not i'm not going to spend too much time uh doing this uh uh character creation i'm just going to go ahead and create a female uh there's naked mods and stuff you can enable with with uh gentleman of the row as well but uh i think it's a little much for uh for youtube and and just to me it's a little much to have those in all the time but uh yeah i'm, I'm just gonna make just pretty much uh a pretty, <laughs> a pretty generic um, character. I'm, I might change her up later. I might even change it up to a totally different person. I might change it into a guy later on. Uh, but just for now, I'm just going to leave her kind of default. Um, you, can see, you can barely see the top of her head here. But uh, I'm just going to change her so voice. I'm tougher than I'm and uh, we'll just jump right back into the game. Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Your patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Psst. Hey! Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely. I know a way out. Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job, and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blown the fuck up. You need me. <laughs> the hell I do? I got the saints. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? 
How long do you think you've been out? Hey, I don't know, man. Two, three weeks? Look, I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, so uh, some of the things in the cutscenes are, are a little bit off, um, and that's just because of the like the skateboards I added in and stuff like that. Um, you see, they both have skateboards. Also, I don't know if you could tell, but uh, she she's like a little one, and uh, it messes with the the cutscenes a little bit, but. Uh, I just figure that you know these cutscenes are all over YouTube. I think most people have seen them by now, so uh, I guess we'll change it up just a little bit, just to <laughs> make it a little interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and get this doctor. Oh, you got me! There we go. She's a ruthless little one. Oh! You made a bad choice. We can either try to sneak out through the roof or have no money or nothing. All right, so we're gonna skip the tutorial and we're gonna go out the front. Let's get to the docks. I can drive us out of here. I can't believe I'm breaking out of jail with you. I think we might oh. pull this off, Carlos. Billy Club. Billy Club. Billy Club to the face. I see the gun. Give me the gun. Oh. <laughs> All right, so uh, before we take off um, out of here, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna beat these ones down. Give them some Billy Clubs to the face. Oh yeah. Really Alright. She's a ruthless little chick, man. There you go. Take that. Take that. This little chick is just terrorizing these guards. Look at that. Oh. Alright, and we're coming here. Take whatever you can find. We got a lot of guards to go through. Grab all these guns and stuff, so now. <laughs> we actually got some explosives. We got a rifle. We got a shotgun. Got a couple of pistols on her. And the Billy Club. Let's go ahead and skateboard on out of here. So do you remember my brother? He was the one in purple, right? out of here. We're not out of here yet. I gotta tell you, Carlos, I'm impressed. Gentleman of the Road also has like a uh, an FO, kind of modifies the FOV in uh, the field of view, so uh, you see like, uh, usually the camera is pretty up close to your character, but uh, it kind of pulls it back a little bit, I think it makes it a little bit easier to play, a little bit easier to, uh, you know, see your surroundings and stuff like that, it just feels better, holy shit. There. All right. Come on, 
Carlos, you with me? Where you going, Carlos? Come on, man. Man, I ain't even move. Come on, Carlos. What are you doing over there, man? Let's get the hell out of here. Man the gun. I'm gonna right. get us out of here. This game's really a lot of fun. Um, it's really one of the few kind of gangster games out there. Um, I mean, there are other ones, but uh, more hits like that, is, we might not make it to shore. Man, we barely even got touched so far, man. Kind of gangster-ish games are kind of like um, more like mafia out. games, you know, like uh, I think it's kind of like uh, you know Scarface and Godfather, and Goodfellas type type games, like uh, holy shit, like a Grand Theft Auto and stuff. Except for San Andreas, you know, um, I think except for San Andreas and Saints Row. One and two. And that's really about it, you know. Um, as far as gangster games, like kind of like movies like Boys in the Hood or South Central and Menace to Society. That's the road. Colors. It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Alter got involved. The clothing company. After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Alter picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere, on TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Walter is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. Where can I find the other Saints? Huh. What other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime. So, uh, one of the things, uh, Gentleman of the Road kind of does is, um, it makes, like, the nights a little bit darker, and it makes, um, the colors a little bit more vibrant and stuff like that. So, like, right now, I hope it's not, uh, too dark right now. Um, I know sometimes when, uh, when things are encoded, like, um, uh, on YouTube and stuff like that, uh, well, actually encoding, you know, in Vegas, it gets a little bit darker, and then when you upload it to YouTube, and YouTube does its thing, uh, sometimes it gets a little bit darker again, so, what's up, player? You're riding your, your skateboard and stuff. Oh, here comes another one. Man, these pimps have no money, man. How can pimps have no money? Why don't they be pimping with no money? Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, what the skateboard over there? There ain't even no cars. Well, hey, all right, I'll take that car. <laughs> Let's go. Our first mission is to uh, buy some clothes here. Um, Let's see, uh, I think we have to buy some pants to get rid of that, uh, that jumpsuit. Um, I think I'm just gonna get her these, uh, track pants here. 
and you gotta you gotta change the colors and select everything with the the arrow keys because if you end up using the, the WSAD then it uh, you'll change the category and it'll reset all your choices which is kind of uh, kind of tricky you know so we'll go uh, Saints purple I guess and uh, go ahead and go with some shoes and uh, let's see what if we that's ah, kind of ugly like that let's see yeah we can go white shoes huh yeah that's pretty girly I think and then uh, we'll get her another uh Yeah, we'll get, we'll get her a little, uh, a little shirt here. We'll go, uh, Saints Purple. Yeah, we'll just go all like this, I think. I don't spend too much time on it, just, uh... That's exactly what I would have recommended. There we go. Now she looks normal. Let's see, we'll go ahead and just jump in here. And, uh, one good thing about, um... One kind of cool thing with the, uh, you know, Saints Row, and actually, um, uh, Saints Row, um, I guess two, three, and four is that uh, you know you can use a keyboard and mouse, and if you have a, an Xbox 360 control plugged into your PC, you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, when you're driving, you go ahead and just uh, pick up a, uh, pick up your control. And it'll go ahead and just, you know, the, the controls work, you know, the same. So, uh, you can kind of switch between pretty seamlessly, which seems pretty nice to me, you know, because driving with the uh, keyboard and mouse is not very nice. Johnny Gatt was arrested last year in an assassination attempt against then decorated police officer Troy Bradshaw. In the resulting trial, Gatt was convicted of one count of attempted murder and a staggering 387 counts of first-degree murder, promptly sending him to death row. Hey, Barry, turn this shit off! Yeah, I was watching that. I guess you're not anymore, are you, bitch? Could you turn the TV back on? We'll be allowed back in the courtroom and we'll find out, once and for all, if Mr. Gatt will go home a happy man or a dead one. Back to you, Jack. Oh, shit. Shotgun for this little girl. They had some money. Not much, but uh, some. at all mm, just makes it seem like something's lacking you know I get kind of nervous though because uh, like I tried to do a uh, central four and man I got hit with so many copyright claims I mean I, I got hit from uh, THQ from uh, Sony music from uh, some other collective and that was just for uh, the first episode, man. We're just gonna go ahead and roll on in here, just you know, just walking through with a shotgun, you know. 
Just gonna find Johnny Gat's court courtroom and uh, yeah, we're just we're just here to watch with a shotgun. Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder. Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? All right. Right on out of here, man. Come on, Johnny. And she's a little bit too short. She starts, uh, her bullets don't quite clear the uh <laughs> go over the cash register and stuff. Everyone, huh? All right, let's get on out of here. Oh, I see they get all these bullets. I got most of them. Oh, that's money there. Give me that money. All right, let's go, Johnny. What the hell happened to the car? What the hell happened to the car? Still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean, got a little tricky with me on death row and her being on the DL after faking her own death, but, you know, we found a way to make it work. How long were you in jail, anyway? Two years and 31 days. Not like you were counting. Yeah, right? You know, it's weird. People inside were betting how long I'd last. See, when I was first busted, guards were always trying to put me in the ground. After Troy became chief of police, it all stopped. Troy must be more forgiven than I am. Troy's the chief of police. If I get some free time, I might swing by the station and say hello. Let's 
somewhere over here. Almost made it through pretty cleanly, but uh, boy, it's just like one after the other there. All right, so uh, yeah, I think I think that'll do it for this uh, first episode because now we're going to have to do some uh, some activities or just kind of screw around, killing people and pulling stunts and crap, uh, just to earn respect. So then uh, we can actually um, accept this uh, mission because uh, in Saints Row 2 you kind of have to uh, yeah you got to fill up that that respect meter and you can fill it up multiple times and kind of. Uh, you know build up enough respect you know you could fill it up so many times so you can do a whole bunch of uh missions without having to do activities but uh it's kind of how they they keep you doing activities in uh in saints row 2 as opposed to like you know in three and kind of four where you have to kind of uh you know doing the first activity is kind of like your mission or whatever uh this one a little bit different uh it's kind of cool but sometimes it's uh Sometimes it can sort of be a drag if you just want to play through the uh, story. It's like, oh, you got to do these, uh, these uh, you know, activities or whatever. But it is kind of cool because it gives you freedom as to choose to, to which ones you want to do. Or if you just want to kind of screw around because you get respect. Just like in uh, Saints Row 3 and 4, you know, you get respect for, uh, you know, pulling, you know, driving crazy, you know, pulling stunts or, or killing people and, uh, you know, just doing like, like crazy shit. So, uh, it's kind of cool that way. But, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do that, uh, next time. So, uh, you know, maybe next time we'll do, uh, some drive-bys or something or some races or, uh, that, uh, septic adventure or septic adventure, um, um, mission or uh there, there's like a whole bunch of them um, there's even uh i think insurance fraud and stuff is still in here uh yeah a whole bunch of them but uh we'll, we'll figure out something to do next time but uh, i think that'll do it for uh this episode so i'll go ahead and and uh save and uh next time we'll pick it up here and kind of uh find something to do so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this uh first episode um there's gonna be you know i'm gonna try to, to push through this game pretty quick and then i don't know if i'm gonna do the third i probably i probably will but you know i'm kind of sweating getting uh hit with copyrights and stuff and then maybe everything will cool down on saints row 4 by then and uh, i'll be able to do that one but uh we'll, we'll see um that, that's a you know that's a ways down the line so uh anyways um uh, Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right. Hi, and welcome to the show. Joining me today is a man who's done some wonderful things for our community. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Dane Vogel. Now, Dane, a lot of liberals out there... A lot of liberals out there have been saying that corporations like Ultor are part of the problem. That they're destroying America with their attitude of, to hell with the community, the bottom line is all that matters. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. I have some pictures that I would like to show your audience, if you don't mind. Now, what you're seeing here are pictures of Saints Row a few short years ago. Parents, you might want to tell your kids to leave the room. There will be minorities in these photos. Like I was saying, in the past, this district was filled with gangs, hookers, and drugs. Now, Alderman Hughes... A great man who was taken from us far too soon. Alderman Hughes had a vision for Saints Row. He wanted to pull the district from the depths of depravity into a brighter future. Now, we at Ultor could not agree more. That's why we spent considerable resources turning this into this. <laughs> Crack houses to corporate parks, pimps and hoes to cops on patrol. Amazing. Just amazing. I think we all owe Ultor another round of applause. Man, he's a hero. I'm not saying that he's not. I'm saying that a man who ran with a gang, he was undercover. He was in the Saints for a long time. Is it really that hard to believe that people have problems with him being announced chief of police?
He's responsible for sending the saints behind bars. And now three new gangs have taken their place. You telling me you want Johnny Gat back on the street? And the ones who know about the programs are the ones who get the money. This footage was taken last night as the Brotherhood went on another looting spree. This time focusing their wrath on the recovering community of Espada. People watched in horror as the crazed individual known as Mero led his men on a violent night of chaos. With no end in sight to the gang epidemic, one has to ask, what are the police doing? Ultor, a brighter future and a better life. Years ago, these serene waters were shaken as Mayor-elect Richard Hughes's yacht was destroyed by a tremendous explosion in what was at the time the second assassination of a major public figure. Just Stillwater University, a place of learning or a state-funded opium den. These kids are smoking Loa Dust, a popular designer drug that is sweeping across the city courtesy of a street gang known as the Sons of Somdi. I hit the campus to get some of the students' take on this dangerous epidemic. As a student here, what are your thoughts on the drug problem facing this campus? Oh, I'm not a student here. I just come here for put- It was a warm spring day when Shogo Akuchi and his Ronin announced their presence to Stillwater. <gasps> One swing was all it took. Now, some misguided people would say that by turning Saints Row into a glass and steel utopia, all you've accomplished was the displacement of low-income families, which, you know, to me, sounds like an added bonus. Well, I don't know about it being a bonus, but it's like my father said, and if you're gonna build an ivory tower, you're gonna have to kill a few elephants. <laughs>